Hello and welcome to another photo quick tip. Uh, today uh, I was doing some um, maintenance and cataloging of my uh, uh, library and I've uh, been in the process of congealing all my information off of Facebook uh, as well as Instagram because uh, as many of you know I've decided to leave those platforms permanently. Um, I just can no longer deal with the uh, political and privacy issues that are falling upon Facebook and, and Instagram. And so I, I will no longer support them in any manner. And as such, I went back to looking to various solutions because one of the things that I've always enjoyed was sharing photos. Uh, I always thought that was a very sociable thing. It was a, a lot nice where you could get photo critiques, you could share your work with other people. It gets appreciated. I know I could spend hours uh, sometimes just looking through other people's photos because that's how you learn, that's how you appreciate. And to me, it's a lot of fun. Okay. And we lost all that through the evilness of Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it's not a place to enjoy photography. And so I've gone back to Flickr myself. And so this is my Flickr account. And if anybody wants to go, just look up my uh, name. Uh, uh, it's flickr.com photos slash Erickson. And you get right to my main account. And all my pictures are public. Nothing is locked out. Everything is there for you to share. A huge uh, assortment. Okay. And... Let's get back to sharing photos. So one of the things that I wanted to do was, well, being a Lightroom user, and uh, I says, I'd like to have an automated, easy way to move my pictures from my Lightroom catalog into uh, uh, Light, from Lightroom into Flickr and, and not make it a painful process to do this. And so I started hunting around, and I came across this plugin. Okay, and this is... Uh, Jeffrey Fried's, Friedel's uh, plugin for Lightroom. And it's a totally free donationware. Okay. And uh, it works very well. Okay. I just got done installing it in my system as a plugin and it works very well. So you can come to this address here. I'll put the link in the uh, description down below so you can just go ahead and download the, the plugin directly. But if you want, you come here and you hit delete or download and you're ready to go. Uh, he's uh, distributing his donationware, okay, which means it's totally free to use. Test it out. If you're happy with it, then he says if you're happy and you feel he is worth something to you, he asks you to donate. You know, and you could donate as little as a dollar if you want. You don't have to, but again, you know, it's a nice thing to do. Uh, I most certainly uh, believe in supporting people that uh, do this kind of work. And so I definitely uh, will support this plugin. Okay, so come in here, download this. It's totally free to try. So no strings attached. All right. And you've got your Flickr account hopefully set up. Okay, if you don't, that's going to be your first step is to make sure you have a Flickr account. And again, Flickr account is totally free. Uh, I think it's for the first 1,000 photos, I believe. Uh, and uh, if you want to become a member and become a pro, uh, then you can uh, most certainly uh, subscribe to Flickr service. Okay. And you can see right here, I've been uploading uh my photos now that I've come back to Flickr and I have a total of only 481 photos uploaded right now. So that's why I've been going through the process. And that's why I started to look for these uh, plugins to help my workflow a little better. Okay. So once you have the plugin downloaded, you have your Flickr account all set up. Okay. Uh, then you're going to be in Lightroom. And what you want to do in Lightroom is you want to go up to file and then you want to go into your plugin manager. Okay. And from there, okay, and I already have it installed, obviously, but if you wanted to install it, okay, all you do is take the downloaded file, hit the add button, 
and then go to the download where you downloaded that plugin, click it, and then add the plugin. It's that simple. And once you configure it, it'll ask you to, to uh, you know, tie it into your Flickr account, give it permission to uh, connect so it can upload into your account. And you just follow that. Uh, nothing, nothing. We're not giving away any passwords or anything. It's just you're authorizing this plugin to upload to Flickr. That's all basically it is. Okay. So once you've done that, okay, and you've installed it in Lightroom, you're going to notice down here in Publish Services, just open that up, and you're going to see a Flickr. And in this case, it automatically scanned all of my folders, all of my collections, all of my albums that are in Flickr already. And it says, I'm all set up. So we can download and upload to any one of these folders. Plus, it'll automatically synchronize keywords, titles, informations, and so forth and so on automatically. So you don't have to do any of this manual entry into Flickr. Okay. So let me give you an example here. I'm going to take this photo right here. I'm going to open it up. And you'll notice I uploaded this uh, this morning, I believe. Yeah. And um, the title, the headline, and the description of each folder. Uh, already got two faves on it. And uh, all the keywords and tags that I've added in it are automatically assigned into the thing. That helps people find uh, the photos uh, within Flickr. That's all automatically done by the plugin. Okay. So that's fantastic. It saves you all kinds of work. So it's really fun to do. I'm going to go ahead and show you here how to actually put one up into Flickr. So I've selected this photo right here. Okay. Of the white daisy. And um, I want to turn around and say, okay, well, I want to keyword it. Uh, and so I'm going to put some keywords in it. Daisy. It would help if I spell, spelled right, huh? Boy. Daisy. And anything else I want to have, uh, I can do. Okay. All my keywords here for now. I'm just going to put those two keywords in. And... Now we have the symbol here. We know there's keywords assigned to this photo. We come down here into the metadata area of Lightroom, and I could uh, uh, look for the sections here under IPC, and there's the headline. So what do we want to call this? I'm going to just call this uh, Purity. And then I could turn around and put in uh, anything else I want to have onto it. Okay. I could put in the headline, I could put in the descriptions, I could be, you know, putting in captions, uh, whatever I wish to do. For, for now, I'm just going to uh, leave it at this. All right. And so now that I have this photo, I've got it. I've got my keywords that I want on it. Uh, now I want to upload it uh, into Flickr. All right. So how do you do that? Simple. Click on a photo and drop it on the photo stream and that's it it's automatically put up okay you'll see there's two photos in there all right so i'm going to click into that folder and you can see there's two folders and you'll see these are new photos to publish and this is one that's already published i just published this morning and i get to simply hit the publish button if i want and it'll automatically send it now and it'll make all the entries into Flickr for you. It'll upload it, it'll put the keywords, put the title in, and everything is automatic. Okay? And that's all you got to do. So it's updating the collection. Now, I should also note that this is a two way communication with this plugin. It'll actually take the comments from Flickr. If you get comments on the photo, it'll actually download and upload them and keep a record so you can actually keep a record on each photo uh, individually so it's very nice all right so 
that's done. All right. So let's go in and uh, check my uh, Flickr. And I'm going to refresh it here. And boom, there it is. It's automatically into Flickr. I click on it. And there's the thing. And you'll notice purity. And everything is all filled out. There's the, the keywords. Uh, all perfect. So there you go. So with no effort at all, I have uploaded and it's automated and a very simple process now. So now as I work through my library and I decide that I want to upload things, I could select more than one and do batch so forth and so on uh, and automatically process it. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you again. I thought this was a really great pl plugin, okay? And again, I give credit to, to Jeffrey uh, Frieds, uh, Friedels. Uh, I, don't, I know I'm not pronouncing his last name correctly, probably. But uh, it's a very nice plugin. It seems to work very well. I've had no issues. Um, and like I said, uh, he's offering it as donationware. So how can you lose, okay? But again, I, I believe in supporting people. So I will most certainly be uh, sending him some PayPal money uh, as an appreciation for his hard work. Uh, so that's it. So hopefully you found this useful. Till next week, you guys take care.